the sky is full of secrets. And if you're lucky, you can see the moment a star bursts into flames and dies, a supernova. Or discover a new comet, or maybe even find alien life, all because you happen to be looking in the right place at the right time. Where the Sky Lives by Margaret Dillaway follows the life of main character Tuesday, her best friend Carter, and her mom Dana, as they try to save something beloved to them while battling extreme loss. This book is really awesome, um, and one of my favorite parts is that it takes place in Zion National Park in Utah. And if you're unfamiliar with Zion National Park, do yourself a favor, pause this video, and go look up pictures of Zion National Park because it is so beautiful and is now on my like must visit list. Um, and in the book, this is actually where the main characters live. Uh, the main character, Tuesday, has an affinity for stargazing, which is passed down to her by her uncle, who is more like um, a father figure to her as Tuesday um, doesn't have a father, uh, which is actually something that's pretty interesting um, and explained in the book as to why she doesn't have um, a father figure in her life. Um, unfortunately, Uncle Ezra, who she looks up to um, and spends lots of time with, very suddenly and tragically passes away. Um, that's not a spoiler. It's, it's on the back of the book. <laughs> um, so Tuesday and her mom are left to pick up the pieces when yet yeah, another thing is added to their bucket, so to speak, um, when Hedges, a nearby ranch where they frequently stargaze and uh, camp, is purchased by developers and they plan to make um, high-rise apartments and shopping centers and Tuesday is completely devastated. She's lost her uncle, who's like her dad, She's lost an amazing place um, to stargaze and camp, and it just seems like nothing is going right for her. And even worse, like if Hedges is turned into what these developers want it to turn into, um, she's not going to be able to see the stars, like I said. So Tuesday decides to take it into her own hands, and with the help of her mom, Dana, who is really weirdly referred to as Dana with no explanation, the whole story. <laughs> um, it, um, her mom's an archeologist and Tuesday has been working with mom or, you know, going with mom her whole life. And Tuesday knows because her mom is an archeologist that if she finds something on this land that's significant, that perhaps she can save Hedges. So she sets out with her best friend Carter um, and some other people at Zion National Park to find something pretty awesome. Um, and if she can do that, hopefully she can save Hedges. This was a five-star book for me. Uh, really fantastic. I loved the themes of loss, resilience, and kids caring about the environment. I also felt like this book was extremely like fresh because it talks about um, and includes influencers, TikTok, um, and Instagram. And these were outlets that Tuesday uses in the story to try to help save her beloved um, Hedges area. Uh, I extremely highly recommend that you pick up Where the Sky Lives by Margaret Dillaway soon.